Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Spiegelmann Scraps Design Team. And I am going to be working with this new sequin mix. It's called Lovely Day and it is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this mix so, so much. And it matches so well with these frames by Pretty Little Studio designed by Kim Watson uh, that came in my Hip Kit Club kit for the month of July. No, nope, not July. Is it July? August, I'm sorry, August. <laughs> so as you know, I am a shaker pocket, shaker frame, shaker element, anything shaker related fanatic. Uh, so as soon as I saw these frames in my Hip Kit Club kit, I knew right away that I was gonna make shakers with them. So I am going to make shakers with the square frames and then the circle frames or the ovals are going to be uh, used to hold my, fol my folder, geez, my photo. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing right now is I've applied some glue to the back of my frame and then I've added some acetate to create my little window. And I'm gonna do that um, on all three. And then I'm just working with the placement of how I'm going to have my frames laid out on my pattern paper, which is by Paige Evans and her Truly Grateful collection. And this sequin mix also matches so, so well with that collection because it does have the sequins have um, these gold leaves and these pretty um, metallic green leaves and peach and um, cream and there's uh, some, some little yellow flowers. I just love this sequin mix. It's gorgeous. All right. So what I did there is I took some foam tape and I've trimmed it into thin strips and I'm going to add um, my sequins into the little... Uh, why do I always struggle with describing it? <laughs> so I'm just basically adding it around or into the little pocket that I created with the foam tape. And I'm gonna do what I always do, which I love backing my shakers with vellum because it you could still see the pattern paper behind it. And I just love, it just gives it like a soft look when you back your shakers with vellum. All right, so I'm, I did one shaker and now I'm working on my next one. I added my EK Success powder tool to my shaker frame to, uh, to decrease the, or get rid of static. And then in case I had any foam tape exposed, I didn't want my sequins to stick to it. And then I do add an extra layer of adhesive on top of my foam tape before I apply my vellum. That way I can uh, make sure that my sequin shaker is going to be completely sealed and none will be able to escape. Now I do have my Dorif thin foam strips that I usually use, uh, but I had some, um, uh, this, what is it called? <laughs> I can't talk today. The Scotch uh, uh, adhesive foam tape to my side. So I just, you know, went ahead and just trimmed it. Why not? All right, now a tip, when you are adding the foam strips, whether it be the Scotch brand or any foam strips, if you get the foam uh, full sheets from Walmart and you use that foam, it always helps to release the backing paper first before you manipulate the foam tape around your corners or rounded edges or anything. You can just really get it to form around any shape that you're working with. All right, there's my third shaker frame. I love them so much. I had some vellum poking out on the side, so I'm gonna trim that down. And I just looking down on it, I love how it is already. And there, they do shake. Look how pretty matches so well and so nicely and I love these frames. They have like a gold um, foiling around them and they're so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and add my photos into each of the circular oval shaped frames and these are of my son. I had taken them on his 14th birthday. He just turned 14 on the 16th of August so this was his little photo shoot. I try to take photos of them on their birthday that way I can document them and then obviously for social media purposes that way I mean I love I'm not as active on Facebook like my personal profile as I should be <laughs> I just like to post there so you know um, I really love the memory so like 10 years from now you know it'll bring up Noah's 14 year old birthday post I love that that's what I love Facebook for well and for other things obviously but I'm more active in like my scrapbook groups than I am on, you know, just my normal profile. I don't really post as much like personal things on Facebook. I'm more on Instagram when it comes to the personal stuff. All right, so I've got all my photos in my frames and I love how it, how it looks. It is just, I don't know, I love 
since I love working with like a grid pattern and to me having those frames like in a grid pattern like makes me happy and I've made sure to turn each frame uh, so that the floral the floral pieces on each frame kind of uh, was like spread out you know I have one on the top and one on the left and one on the bottom so yeah I did put some thought into that okay so like I said I am going to be working with the um, Truly Grateful Collection by Paige Evans with Pink Paisley. So I got these puppy thickers out and I wanted to use the numbers and I put 14 right on the photo where he's looking um, to the left because I thought, um, I just love that photo of, that I took of him, him looking off, um, I think he was looking at one of the dogs and I just happened to snap it. I love uh, photos that are, what's the right word? Candid, there you go. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start gluing everything down, and I've got my little ruler here that came with my glass mat. I can't find my T-square ruler. I don't know where it went, so I was just using that. It helped. And I, honestly, I don't really spend a lot of time making sure, you know, things are uh, equally spaced and all that, especially with grids. I just eyeball it, and I like the way it turns out. Not, you know, it doesn't have to be too perfect, except that frame was wonky, so I had to fix it. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, and I see I love how that 14 looks. So you can totally tell that this is his 14 year um, old photos. So I knew that uh, from this puppy epoxy sticker set by Paige Evans, I wanted to make my title out of uh, this little set here that says you are loved because I thought it matched really well. I just love, love, <laughs> I love the font on this whole sticker sheet. And uh, I really, really wanted to use it, especially the purple, how it pops off on, you know, that pattern paper there. So I am going to add some thread. I thought we needed, not we, I thought I needed a, a little texture here. And I just kind of tangled it up and tucked it to the right and added some adhesive. And I did mess around with how I wanted or where I wanted my title. I messed around with it for a few minutes. And hopefully my video is not pausing like it is for me on my computer. I don't know, it kind of just skipped a little bit. So hopefully it's good for y'all. All right, so that's where I decided to put my title. I added some foam tape under the R in UR so that it was uh, the same dimension as my shaker frame because I did glue it to um, that frame up there as well and it since that had dimension I didn't want it to get smushed and I wanted it to be the same height so I'm going through this little sticker sheet the 6 by 12 sticker sheet and then I did pull a few florals that also came with the frames and they also have like black and white frames in the same set or it might have been a different set no it was the same set so there's black and white frames and maybe I'll save those for another layout Maybe I'll make like Elijah's uh, birthday uh, scrapbook page with those. Sorry, I am struggling with words today. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, so these are my favorite, all-time favorite, are uh, these little dots that come on the sticker sheet that I also use my title from. And I'm just going to scatter those around the page. And I just think they look like confetti and it just adds a little something and they're small enough where, you know, it just really accents. All right, so I'm taking my paint marker and like I usually do, I love to add white plotters on uh, pattern paper or darker pat or anything that's not white, basically. So here is where I fudge up. I, oh my goodness. I was so upset because I splattered some of the paint on, right on Noah's head and I don't know why I thought. I would wipe it off. Like, did I think that it was just gonna clean off? No, so there's white paint smeared. So until I'm able to print another uh, photo and replace it, I am just gonna cover it up with uh, a floral piece from Paige's floral ephemera set. And you can kind of, I mean, honestly, you can still see the white paint, but I mean, it's okay. <laughs> I cannot believe I did that. Okay, so here is how it looks. All of my little shaker frames. You can see the sequins move here. I love how this turned out. I love to make anything shaker, sequin shaker related. Uh, don't forget to use my code Brianna15 to save you 15% off in the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop. Here is my final layout all finished up. Thank you again for commenting and watching all my videos and subscribing to my channel and we'll see you in the next one.